Uh, when I was a child, I actually didn't want to be an engineer. I wanted to be a heart surgeon. As I grew up and as I got to high school, my interests got shifted. We had a course, it was physics basically, but it was all about dynamics of motion. And that course really got my attention. Uh, that's how I got interested into mechanical engineering in general. I got my bachelor's degree from Iran University of Science and Technology and then I got master's degree in biomedical engineering from Sharif University and then I moved to US, I got a master's degree from Clemson University and then I moved to Georgia Tech where I got my PhD in mechanical engineering. When I first interacted with dynamics and physics, I really got interested into locomotion, like the way we move. That stayed with me through college. And then when I started my PhD, I really got a chance to work in that area. When I talked to my advisor, he gave me a few options. He was like, okay, are you interested in working with ants or working with snakes? We do bio-inspired engineering. We learn from animals, from insects. What's your champion animal? I spent quite a few years working with snakes like doing experiments, we look at animals, we see how animals move, interact with the environment, and then we try to transfer that technology to the engineering side. A lot of really interesting discoveries in robotics started from looking at nature. It usually starts with a question in mind that we as engineers have been struggling with for many, many years, and that we just have to go look for it and design the right study to be able to learn how that animal solves that problem. Really, the sky is the limit, right? So you really don't want to put any limits on yourself. It, it might be difficult through the process, but um, at the end, everything comes together and you feel like, yes, I can do this. And I can do even beyond this. They inspire me every day, every single day. Our students, they inspire me. So that's another reason I like my job. <laughs>